What's up, family? American women, listen up. And you listen up good. What if you were about to get married and before you got married, your father had to give you away? And on that special day, he gave you his blessings along with these instructions. Don't ever obey someone who is not your husband. Never go out without your husband. And here's the big one. If your husband wants to add another wife, you help him find one. And if he wants to add another, you help him again. All right, fam, you with that or not? Who with that? Who, who, could, who, could, who could get with that? What if it afforded you financial security? Would you be cool with it? You know, like, you know, got married to a man, took care of everything, but you had to obey. You had to obey. You couldn't go out with anybody. And if you wanted another woman, would you be down with it? If, you know, you had financial security, would you be down? No more troubles financially, no more struggling, no more struggling. Would you be down? Well, that's what happened in this one video, this woman from Africa. I'm not sure what country, but her father gave her instructions on her wedding day. Like, this is what I expect from you. And he was like, don't you have your husband to report you to me? Because you know how I get down. He said, you know my heart. You know what type of man I am. Which makes me believe that he would probably beat her. And what's going on with these type of marriages, man? Now, I heard something that, you know, to the effect that oftentimes when these, these fathers give their daughters to these men, these, many of these men have some type of offering to give to the father. And so that uh, influences the father to want to offer his daughter to a certain guy because these are arranged marriages. And old girl did not look happy. She did not look happy at all. Now, let's, let's, let's watch, let's, let's, I know some of y'all going crazy. But let's think about this for a moment. You know, Americans love to, you know, act like, you know, we got it going on and we got the best type of situations. But in many of these other countries, their divorce rate is way lower than that of Americans. You know, our divorce rate is somewhere around 60, 70%. And there's a like, not even double digits. So do we really got it all figured out? I know some people say, you know, well, you know, that's because you can't get a divorce. You get, they'll kill you before they divorce you. So you can't get a divorce. You know, that's part of the rules. I don't know. I think it's part of the culture where divorce is just unacceptable. It's like if you make that vow, then, you know, you're in it for life. It ain't nothing to play with. I mean, I think the, the uh, marriage, the whole institution of marriage is something that many of these people and these other cultures actually believe in and they hold they hold it close to their heart. Unlike in America where man, people be walking down the aisle knowing that they're the first sign of trouble they get in a divorce. In fact, a lot of times people before people even get married, they already got the divorce date in mind. They already know they're getting a divorce. Some people get divorced and they, I mean, get married and in their mind, they're like, the moment they're unhappy, I mean, the actual moment, first argument, they filing for divorce. They ain't got no intention on being married. They just want to kind of like go through the process. You know? So, you know, I know it's, it's easy for Americans to say, you know, like, yeah, I just wouldn't want that. I wouldn't want that type of life. I wouldn't want that for myself. 
But do we really, with all of these freedoms that we have, do we really have it figured out? You know, personally, I think it boils down to each his own or her own. I think the people need to do what makes them sleep good. But that's their culture and this is ours. I can tell you, I'm not saying that we need to adopt their culture, but we need to do something about this when we're in because this shit ain't working. This culture we have, it, it ain't working. It ain't working at all. Like, hey, y'all got any ideas, man? Let me know. Let me know, man, because it's bad out here. It's bad out here in these relationship streets. It's bad, bad. And I don't think it's a bad idea for Americans to at least take a look, do a little investigation into some of these other cultures. You know, I'm not saying this situation is is a perfect fit um, with you know the the woman that's in this particular situation in the video that I have linked to this video. But something's got to happen now. That, again, that woman didn't look happy at all. Like I mean, she going into marriage, not happy. She seemed like she was doomed. So, uh, knowing how, how I'm built, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to put my daughter through that. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't want to do that. You know, no, nah, not at all. She looks miserable already. But anyway, fam, what say you? Drop a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts. No more talk. What the mate is talking about. Damn.